Hi guys, so it's been a long day. I'm going to be reviewing these CVS brand on um, makeup remover wipes, which is supposed to be the cheaper form of the Neutrogena wipes. As you can see, this is, you know, it's looks pretty much like the Neutrogena wipes in terms of the color schemes and whatever. And of course, there's the uh, little flap. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that right now, CVS is actually doing a uh, promo where you get two extra bucks back. So you pay $10 and you get $2 back that you can spend right then and there on something else. So anyway, let's get started. Remove completely. And uh, each of these do have 25 sheets, so you get 50 sheets for $10. And... So yeah, so that's about five cents a sheet at full price. Um, but obviously with the sale, you're not paying full price. So it's just pretty moist. Um, they say 100% plant-based fibers, aka cotton or similar. So higher quality than some of the cheaper, you know, polyester wipes. Uh, this thing does snap shot, which is a really nice touch because it keeps the towelettes moist. And the ingredients, you know, it says... Uh, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested, hypoallergenic, paraben free, alcohol and oil free. And um and the ingredients are, you know, waters, cetero alcohol, cetero isol, etc. 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 Cetera, et cetera. This has got flower extracts, cucumber extracts, vitamin E, aloe vera, um, you know, so it's vitamin C, so if you can see. So anyway. Let's try this. Um, you probably don't notice because it's all fallen off, but today I actually have, um, obviously my eyebrows, I've got foundation, I had tinted, okay, first I put on my normal moisturizer, then I put on tinted moisturizer, and then I put in, um, on a powder, just lightly dusting to set that, you know, tinted moisturizer as it were. Um, a little bit of concealer on some problem spots. My eyebrows obviously dry in. Mascara, eyeshadow. You can tell. I don't know if you can tell. It's been a long day. And I do like my eyeshadow pretty light. You can see the uh, sparkles. And um, eyeliner. You know, lipstick. Obviously lipstick, lip gloss. Um, that's probably worn, at, worn off by now. Let me see. Yeah. There's like barely anything left off that lipstick. So let's try this. Yeah, guys, sorry, not that exciting. Just watching me wipe this thing all over my face. I don't know. I don't know. Those uh, makeup wipes have never fully gotten my makeup off ever. So, yeah, see? Meh. I mean, it's got some mascara. Um, Of course, I did use the... um. What is it? The benefit they are real on uh, mascara, and I don't know if there's waterproof or not, but it's usually a ordeal getting it off. And you can see the eyeliner coming off though. But the eyeshadow didn't. It looks like it didn't. I don't know. I guess all the eyeshadow fall off already. No, oh, no. There's still that um. Still there. Okay. There we go. So a little more pressure than I like on my eyeballs to get this off. But I think it's more the scrubbing action than whatever's on the cloth at this point. Like if I took a, you know, random Kleenex, put some water in it, on it, it'd probably get some stuff off. Um, but yeah, so overall, you know, meh. But makeup wipes have always been sort of meh for me. Um, I mean, they've, you know, it's... What can I say? I'm hoping though that the uh, vitamin E and whatnot will, um, you know, make his will soothe my skin, because I've been having a uh, problem skin recently, uh, partially due to a another product that I'll review at a later time. But um, let's just say that when you pick your toner, <laughs> you you might need something a little bit heavier than you think you need in the winter time. Because I used a lighter weight toner because it's, well, it's freezing cold out and my skin's all dry and stuff. And I didn't want to, you know, have something too hefty with alcohol or whatever working there. And, um, 
Instead, it didn't exfoliate enough, so I'm getting all these patches of dry, flaky skin. Alright, you can see that the, um, all the foundation, all the, um, tinted moisturizer and powders off my nose. You can probably see my pores, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, in terms of does this work? Yeah, I guess. Um, I did not, I don't like rubbing my eyeballs with this much. It's, you know, it's a little bit much for the tender eye skin. Um, did I get the foundation off or a tinted moisturizer and powder off? I mean, I guess. There's even some yellow on the other side. So I guess it went all the way through the sheet. Um, I did get my eyeliner off, but I don't know. So if you regularly use makeup wipes, you know, go ahead and give this a try. I like the ingredients. They have nothing that, you know, I personally find offensive. They've got no parabens. They've got random flower extracts, cucumber extracts, aloe vera, and, um, you know, the vitamin E. I do wish they had a little bit more vitamin E and aloe vera, but I imagine too much oil would make it not clean so well, right? <laughs> it'd be, uh, it'd leave a film of oil instead. So anyway, my face feels really clean right now. It does not feel dry like um, like when I do use a normal um, cleanser. So that's a plus. Um, definitely, you know, the moisturizer seems this working. Um, but yeah, so overall, I'd recommend this to someone who typically uses the makeup remover wipes and doesn't mind just a little bit of scrubbing to get that hard to get off eyeliner and uh, mascara. And, you know, definitely stop by before the 25th to get this deal.